So when it comes to hunting in the mountains and the optics that I use, number one, I never go into the mountains without a spotting scope. It's the most important thing when you're trying to really see what that animal looks like. Is it an animal that's worth going after or is it not? And that's where the spotting scope comes in. Or if I'm really trying to reach out and glass a mountainside that's, you know, three to five miles away and the binos just aren't quite enough to really pick out those small details that you need. In the mountain environment, even with two guys, you must have at least one spotting scope. And often when it's two guys, that's all you need is one. Because you've got two guys behind the binos and then if somebody sees something, you know, okay, let me see the spotting scope and you can share it back and forth. Super efficient and lightweight. Maybe you spread the weight out a bit, between you and your partner, you know, you carry a spotting scope, tripod, your partner carries the tent and the stove. Or you have two spotting scopes and then it's just, it can be just a little bit redundant in my opinion. Now having said that, I have no issue. I'll carry the spotting scope every time uh, because I want to have it at my fingertips whenever I need it, you know, when I need it. And the other thing is obviously the binos are your bread and butter. They are gonna be the things you spend probably most of your time behind in the kind of mountain hunting that we do. If we're looking for white sheep on the mountains, um, you know, sure, if you're looking for stone sheep, you're probably gonna spend a little more time behind the spotter than you um, maybe even do with the binos. But for the most part, binoculars are going to be your go-to every time. I use a 10 by 42s. These are the Razor UHDs. And as far as the spotter goes, I like the 85 objective lens, just a big field of view. And this is the 27 to 60. Those are the really the two most important things when it comes to optics. But don't be afraid to share one spotter between two guys, really cuts down on the weight and makes things efficient. Maybe you can move further, you can go longer. Any way you can lighten up the load but not be at a detriment when it comes to really trying to spot that game. And I think that in the mountain environments here in the Yukon, one spotter, two guys, two sets of binoculars is definitely a, a good way to go and it gets the job done.